name is Jill Westerby. I am honored to be the Master of Ceremonies for Cherokee High School's 22nd Annual Renaissance People's Choice Awards. I would like to introduce members of Cherokee's Chamber Choir. They will be performing our national anthem along with a presentation of the flags by our junior naval ROTC programs under the command of Major Meehan and Chief Harvey. Would everyone please rise? Thank you, Cherokee's Chamber Choir. Honored guest with us tonight, former Lenape Regional High School District Board Member, Joseph Barocchi. Current Lenape Regional High School District Board Member, Mrs. Bonnie Olp. Our principal of Cherokee High School, Mrs. Charlesworth. <laughs> Cherokee High School administrators, teachers, and staff. Cherokee People's Choice Award recipients, your parents, family, and friends. <laughs> Renaissance coordinators, Mrs. Gallimbardo, Mrs. Kulo, Mrs. Marr, Mrs. Majiri. Thank you for being part of this special evening where we pause to celebrate some of Cherokee's finest students. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Charlesworth, our principal. Thank you, Jill. Good evening and welcome to Cherokee. On behalf of the administration and staff, we are delighted to have you here this evening to participate in our 22nd Annual Renaissance People's Choice Awards. To our staff here tonight, thank you for working tirelessly in the shadows so our students can shine in the light. Your nominations tonight are just one of many examples that teaching is so much more than the delivery of instruction or the assessment of work. The relationships and bonds you build with your students is priceless. Tonight, we honor 79 students out of the student body of over 2,100 for simply standing out. Our students in attendance this evening are not here solely for their academic or athletic prowess. Tonight, they are honored for their optimistic attitudes, believing in themselves, succeeding, we're making a positive change. Congratulations are also in order for our families who sit in the audience tonight 
with great anticipation, love in their hearts, and beaming with pride. On behalf of the administration and faculty, welcome. It is truly a pleasure to share this special event with our extended Cherokee family. Thank you, Mrs. Charlesworth. We are now pleased to present this year's People's Choice Award recipients. Senior Michael Castellano will be introducing the award presenters. Good evening. Our first senior award presenter is Mr. Agnew. <clears throat> Chris Marone has had no luck when it comes to athletic related injuries. In the past two years, Chris has had two separate knee injuries and subsequent surgeries which prevented him from wrestling both his junior and senior years. Throughout this time, Chris has been the ultimate teammate, giving guidance and encouragement to his peers throughout both seasons. Congratulations, Chris. Our next presenter is Miss Bell. Kylie Cassidy is a prime example of resiliency and unwavering determination. No matter what life throws at Kylie, she has an unbelievable demeanor and takes on any challenge with a smile. Kylie's hard work and courageous heart are going to take her places in life. It has been an honor coaching Kylie and I can't wait to see the amazing things she does after Cherokee. Our next presenter is Mr. Belleville. My favorite part of this job is getting a chance to watch students enter our building as children and enter as, and leave as young men and women. My People's Choice nominee has developed into a young man with outstanding character. J.C. Watts once said, character is doing the right thing when nobody's looking. This year, Quay purchased a lunch for a student without anyone looking because it's the right thing as a human being to do for others in need. I am truly proud to have had a chance to watch Quay mature into this kind of young man. My People's Choice nominee, Quay Brophy. Our next presenter is Mrs. Bellidou. Pedro Colon is a dedicated student who loves to engage in deep thinking and meaningful conversations. He has a great sense of humor and sense of self. I would love to have a classroom full of Pedros. They would all be eager to talk about what they learned, but not take themselves too seriously. Pedro Colon. Our next presenter is Mrs. Blight. Kira Connolly has been so helpful to me over the past three years. Every school, day, every school day, and I mean every school day, um, she meets me in the North School store to help me set up for the day. Kira, you know how much I appreciate you and how much I will miss you next year. Thank you for every, everything that you do. You're the best. Our next presenter is Mrs. Bretz. Good evening, my People's Choice Award winner is Gabrielle Glenning. Gigi Glenning is the epitome of a Cherokee chief. She is confident, kind, 
hardworking, and dedicated to her school and community. This year, I have witnessed Gigi speak to a crowd of strangers on multiple occasions with a poise and intelligence that surpasses her age. Gigi always takes the time to stop and say, hello, how are you? And while that may not seem like a big deal, in a generation often viewed as self-absorbed, Gigi's awareness of the world around her sets her apart from the crowd. Gigi, you represent yourself, your family, and your school in the very best light. And I wish you all the best as you leave Cherokee behind and embark on, your event, on the adventure that is life. Gigi Glenick. Our next presenter is Ms. Carulla. My people's choice is Molly Schick. I have known Molly since she has been a freshman and her spirit has never changed. She is someone who always has a positive aura around her and she is always smiling, even when life is challenging. She is someone who I look forward to seeing every day and will miss dearly next year. I'm so happy to have had the pleasure of knowing her and seeing her transformation as a freshman into a senior. Our next presenter is Mrs. Chachko. In my 11 years as an advisor for Fellowship of Christian Athletes, we have never had a leader as responsible um, as Megan Gunner. Megan's initiative, coupled with her grace, has been the foundation of FCA this year. Megan has a heart for her fellow classmates and truly desires to see them be known and loved. Megan is someone who shows me that the wisdom and maturity are not limited by age and reminds me how powerful a sense of faith and self can be. Our next presenter is Mrs. Charles Orton. My People's Choice Award goes to Olari Oladipa. The quality of your actions, the integrity of your intent, resulted in tremendous success both in our classrooms and on our courts. An infectious smile, team before self, and an incredible work ethic, Beth describes Olari. And we are so fortunate that you became part of our Cherokee family. Our next presenter is Ms. Farrell. Ava Tarian is an outstanding young woman whose friendly smile can light up a room. Ava is a hard worker in the classroom and on the basketball court. I've had the pleasure to watch her in both settings over the last four years. She's a heart of gold and a laugh that is incredibly contagious. I'm so excited to see what the future holds for her. Our next presenter is Mr. Fortunato. My People's Choice recipient is Stephen Hoagland. Dear Steve, I've written a poem that celebrates you, all the triumphs, the troubles, and the things you've been through. For nearly 10 years ago, in your year of grade three, you had a substitute teacher in class. That was me. <laughs> Quite a bit before high school, back at Old Evans School, even then, though much younger, you were humble and cool, always there with a smile and always sure to say hi. You're a compassionate, intelligent, remarkable guy. And then some years passed, as years tend to do, and it was a pleasant surprise my class roster said you. Junior year had arrived, the toughest grade of them all, and despite any challenge, any stumble or fall, you kept up persistence, you kept up great pride, always proving your commitment and the strength you've inside. You finished quite strongly, junior year a success, not that anyone who knows you would expect any less. You're committed to excellence in both hockey and class, and despite many obstacles, you still ensure that you'll pass. You face challenges strongly, you work like no other. You're a compassionate person, a swell friend, son, and brother. Helping mom when she needs you, as any good son would do, and I know your whole family is out there proud of you too. For you're still there with your smile, like way back in grade three, 
You're still, there to, you know, you're still there to be humble, to fill others with glee. And though Cherokee's ending, high school's nearly through, you'll be trading your orange for some white, yellow, and blue. Yes, you're on your way up, as the great Seuss once said, to continued success at West Virginia instead. Keep your focus and courage, your work ethic, your heart. Keep remembering to finish everything that you start. I have no doubts for your future. I know you're, you'll keep pushing through. You'll be triumphant and loved for as long as you're you. Congratulations. Our next presenter is Mrs. Forney. That's a tough act to follow. I will not be using poetic verse, but I do have two awards to present tonight. My first award is to Elizabeth Cortez. She demonstrates strength, motivation, and resilience. Through her hard work and determination, Elizabeth will be the first in her family to attend college. Elizabeth's maturity and independence are an inspiration to others and will be integral as she pursues her future educational and career goals. Elizabeth Cortez. My Other People's Choice Award goes to Aidan Daniels. He represents the true spirit and culture of Cherokee pride. Aidan's academic and athletic accomplishments, contributions to a myriad of activities, but most of all, his kindness and respect are noticed by all who he encounters. Aidan has forever left an imprint, not just at Cherokee, but in the lives of everyone who is lucky enough to know him. Aidan Daniels. Our next presenter is Dr. Frazier. Hi, my people's choice is Juliana Delmarine. Jules is amazing. I can't even begin to describe how amazing she is. She is quiet, passionate, determined, and she's always been true to herself. The accomplishments she's made over the last four years are more than many of us will make in a lifetime. <laughs> uh, I, her accomplishments have been both personal and academic. Her academic accomplishments, she's always pushed herself to go beyond expectations. 110% still isn't enough for Jules. I hope at some point she is as proud of her accomplishments as we are. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next presenter is Ms. Hanks. My People's Choice goes to Katie Wallenberg. Katie has been a pleasure to have as a student athletic trainer this year. She always has a smile on her face, whether helping at football practice in 100 degree heat or working a game in the rain. I wish that Katie was a student athletic trainer all four years, and I will be sad to see her go, but I know she will do great things in the years to come. Our next presenter is Ms. Buchanan, reading for Mrs. Inamorata. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. I'm sorry that Mrs. Inamorata is ill and can't be here, but I'm very happy to take her place. Um, her People's Choice nominee is Allison English. It is said that there are three types of people in this world. Those who make things happen, those who watch things happen, and those who wonder what happened. Allison is one of those people who makes things happen. That includes Cherokee's first Dungeons and Dragons Club. After Allison convincingly recruited Mrs. Inamorata as her advisor, she wrote the club proposal for the board, scheduled all the meetings, maintained communications with the 30 plus members, took attendance at the bi-weekly meetings, and even managed to get on the calendar with me in the media center. Allison runs the show. 
and our members follow her lead. It has been uh, Mrs. Inamorata's pleasure to work with her and get to know her this year. We will miss her at lunch and learn with her visits as she heads to college in the fall, where I know she will prove to be an exemplary student and a stellar leader. I will miss her in the library because for me, she's a super reader. So congratulations, Allison. Our next presenter is Mr. Ivory. My People's Choice recipient is Adam Reminiski. Uh, I have had the pleasure of teaching Adam for the past three years in my German classes, and he is always the first to volunteer for anything, and he always participates every day very enthusiastically and always does his very best. He's always very polite and courteous and greets everyone with a smile. Our next presenter is Mrs. Jankowski. Allie Hassel has done a great job in the South School store. She always greets customers with a smile. She is a top student in both retail careers and pre-vocational skills. Allie will be successful after high school due to her hard work and effort in the store. Congratulations, Allie. Our next presenter is Mr. Clay. Starting at forward, number 12, Zach Miller. Had to do it one more time, Zach. Zach has the amazing skill of always making everyone around him have a good time. No matter what the sport we play in class, he's always giving maximum effort, sometimes maybe a little too much. With a big smile on his face, he always has a great relationship with his fellow classmates and other teachers. He's the epitome of a great PE student. In addition, he even won three championships, something I thought was unheard of. Congratulations, Zach. Our next presenter is Mrs. Conowitz. My People's Choice nominee goes to Olivia Gazzara. <laughs> Olivia is the kind of student that makes me want to be a better teacher. The growth and progress Olivia has displayed throughout her high school career is amazing. All of her hard work and determination has helped transform her into the fabulous young lady she is today. Olivia brightens my day whenever I see her, and it's not very often this year, so um, I'm so proud of you, Liv. You've come a long way, and I, I love you. Our next presenter is Mr. Lamplew. My People's Choice Award goes to Blake Sokol. Blake goes above and beyond in every endeavor. He is always striving to improve and constantly sets high goals and standards for himself. I admire his kindness, honesty, morals, and great integrity. He is always a pleasure to be around and he leaves a positive impression wherever he goes. Additionally, Blake has become kind of like a personal concierge. He has been to countless five-star restaurants and resorts. He actually just got back from Paris. And uh, he always shares his menus, pictures, and advice upon his return. Blake, good luck next year, college, you will be missed. Our next presenter is Mrs. Marr. My 2019 People's Choice nominee is Jalen Smith. I have had the pleasure of getting to know Jalen in my Accounting two class this school year. He is self-motivated, hardworking, and surpasses the rest in his humble nature. I truly enjoy teaching Jalen each day and want him to know his extra effort does not go unnoticed. Congratulations. Our next presenter is Mrs. Mancinelli.
Good evening. My 2019 People's Choice Award goes to Angie Hassel. Angie's character is one of a kind. She is one of the most caring, empathetic, compassionate, and humanistic students I have worked with over the past 16 years. She is an exceptional young woman who has overcome more adversity and obstacles in her childhood than most people would have had to face in a lifetime. Angie inspires me and others around her. She is proof that with enough determination and perseverance, anyone can overcome what life throws them. Proud of you, Angie. Our next presenter is Mrs. Majiri. Allie Gould has been a student of mine for the last two years and it has been an absolute pleasure getting to know her. Over this time, I have been able to see her grow tremendously, not only as a student, but as a wonderful young lady. There is not a day that goes by that I do not receive a bubbly hello and have a friendly conversation with Allie, something that most students do not do on a daily basis. Even through tough times, her contagious positive attitude has always shown through, which is why Allie is my 2019 People's Choice nominee. Our next presenter is Mrs. McGinley. My People's Choice Award I met four years ago when she um, became part of the Cherokee Volleyball family as a manager. Clara Vitale. <laughs> Little did I know at the time when she was a freshman that she'd become an integral part of our program. As a coach, we depend on a lot of people to do a lot of things behind the scenes. I um, mean, Clara was a true joy to have for the past four years. She did anything from working the lines to doing the book to setting up the camera to taking stats. Um, and with her by my side at games, I knew that everything was going to get done as they needed it to get done. Um, she was not able to attend our banquet this year, so I didn't have the opportunity, nor did our seniors, and we said many great things about her, but I wanted to make sure in a public setting that we let Claire know how grateful we were for her four years with Cherokee Volleyball. Our next presenter is Mr. McMichael. Good evening. My People's Choice Award goes to Hannah Kent. I tend to be a bit of a type A person, um, and the very first time I met Hannah in the fall of her freshman year, she's going to hate me for telling the story, um, she had a map of Cherokee High School that was color-coded, different colors, so she knew how to get from one class to the other. I pretty much had this award pegged four years ago. Uh, the truth is, I chose Hannah due to her willingness to take risks in her time here, um, academic and otherwise. Having the courage to challenge herself has led her to grow so much as a student and as a person these past four years. I admire her strength and resilience, and I know these traits will propel her towards success in college and beyond. Congratulations. Our next presenter is Major Meehan. My People's Choice Awardee is Gwendolyn Klein Daly. Each time ROTC asks for a senior to lead a community service event, unit event, or classroom activity, Gwendolyn is the first to volunteer her time and organizational skills. She is a natural leader and demonstrates how effective a servant leadership style can be. Her younger classmates have no finer example to follow. She is a star among her peers. Our next presenter is Ms. Miller. My People's Choice Award goes to Matt Haverstick. <laughs> Matt has been a part of my class in some capacity for the last three of his four years of high school. I've watched him grow tremendously over that time, making great strides as a student and becoming an exceptional young adult. He is the sunshine in my life 
and has made me love what I do even more than I already did. Every day I see him, he gives me a reason to smile, and I will truly miss him next year as he moves on from Cherokee to take on the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Haverstick. Our next presenter is Miss Moore. I have known Maddie Weaver since she was a little freshman on my basketball team. Even back then, I knew that she was a great athlete, a hard worker, and a kind, selfless person. Fast forward to her senior year, and now she is a student in my Providence Stack class. Throughout her high school career, Maddie has had ongoing medical issues, which unfortunately hit her very hard this year. As an adult, I can't even begin to imagine all the things that she has had to go through, let alone dealing with them as a high school student. But through it all, I've never seen her without a smile on her face or ready to crack a joke. She has continually been an A student, learning a lot of material on her own while she was out of school, keeping up with all of her classes. Her motivation, perseverance, and positive attitude has taught me a lot this year, and I feel very fortunate to have gotten to know such an amazing young woman. Our next presenter is Mr. Niederberger. Uh, my uh, People's Choice Award is Jill Westerby. Uh, Jill is a senior lacrosse player that always been a, has always been a valuable contributor on the lacrosse field for the last four years. She has always been positive and upbeat and is a player that makes other players around her better. Her senior year, she has embraced a leadership role and really tried to mentor younger players throughout the offseason as well as the current season. In fact, a teacher once said to me about Jill and her sister um, that she's a great kid and that the kind of girl that I want my daughter to be like. Uh, it's my honor to nominate Jill Westerby for People's Choice Award. Our next presenter is Ms. Packer. My People's Choice nominee is Mackenzie Rabinowitz. Mackenzie has grown into a confident young woman over her four years at Cherokee. Her kind heart and desire to help made coaching her easy. She lights up whatever room she walks into and her positive attitude is contagious. I'm going to miss having her on the cheerleading team next year, but I have no doubt that she will find success in her future. Congratulations. Our next presenter is Mrs. Polverenti. I have to beg your indulgence because I also have two award winners tonight. My first People's Choice nominee is Tommy Davis. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Tommy is bright and witty and sarcastic as all get out and I love it. He neither takes nor gives any nonsense, and he always tells it exactly as it is. When he shows up at my door saying, Mrs. P, I'm in a good mood today, I know I'm in for some fun. <laughs> However, though Tommy sees the world around him clearly, I am afraid that his excellent vision does not extend to himself. And for all his outward confidence, I think he sells himself short. Not too long ago, I said, Tommy, when you decide what you want to do with your life and go after it, I know you will be incredibly successful. Your potential is unlimited. I believe that with all my heart. I'm not sure he believed me then. I hope he believes me tonight. And my second People's Choice nominee is Joe Zwill. Teaching English to seniors is fun and rewarding, but it can also be a lonely business. I will pose a question which I think will lead to fascinating class discussion, and instead, crickets chirp, tumbleweeds roll across the room, and the seasons change outside the window. But when that happens, Joe always throws me a lifeline. A gentleman in all senses of the word, Joe's intelligent, sensitive, and insightful comments restore my faith. Joe is the best tech man I've ever had, 
And when he stays after the bell to make sure all the equipment is in order, he will sometimes offer an opinion on a book we are reading or a film we have seen. Quiet and unassuming though he is, he often makes my day. In fact, Joe, on many days, you have been my saving grace. Thank you. Our next presenter is Mrs. Rodenheiser. Thank you. The actions of a person are a reflection of his character, values, and priorities. Ethan Salixson is my choice, I mean, award. <laughs> Aside from our mutual passion for the Spanish language and culture, he exemplifies someone who will always do the right thing, no matter how difficult it may be. Ethan has been an honor being your teacher. Go conquer the world in different languages, including Japanese, and most of all, be happy. Our next presenters are Mr. Stanley and Ms. Witzig. Hi. Our um, People's Choice Award recipient is Maya Minor. I think she saw it coming, Mr. Stanley. Yeah. I think she saw it coming. Yeah. Right. Maya's a person who always lets her presence be known. She's loud, persistent, has very strong opinions on just about everything, and has no reluctance to share them. Which is nice, actually, because she also is observant, empathetic, and has, heart, has a heart of gold. And what she says is worthwhile. Maya has also been an inspiration. I've seen her mature from a chaotic, directionless, boy-crazy freshman girl <laughs> to a confident, directed, compassionate, mature woman. I believe that Maya is destined for a rich, happy, and productive life. And I like to think that I was part of that growth. She's truly the end game we hope for our with our students. It's people like Maya who make me feel so very grateful to be a teacher. Thank you. My turn. You might want to sit down. <laughs> In an ode to fearless women, author and poet Nikita Gill writes, defined by no man, you are your own story, blazing through the world, turning history into her story. And when they dare to tell you about all the things you cannot be, you smile and tell them, I am both war and woman, and you cannot stop me. Maya Minor is both war and woman. My first encounter with her was as an immature young freshman, I think there's a recurring theme here, when she came blazing into my French class. And the rest is our story. It has taken Maya four years, long years, to figure out the woman and person she wants to be. And she truly is unstoppable. The difference is now, she knows it. Maya has a newfound sense of self and confidence that never existed those four years ago. And it makes me so proud to know her and to bear witness to that growth. As you make your own story, Maya, know that I will always be with you, beaming with pride and love. Except before we go, of course, during football season, because Maya has one major flaw. You ready? She's a Patriots fan. Got to represent Deflate Gate. Our next presenter is Miss Taylor. My People's Choice nominee is Noah Levick. Noah always has a positive attitude about learning and inspires other students to do the same. I had the honor of being Noah's English teacher. And while Noah's favorite subjects may be math and science based, he has never shied away from his English courses and even enrolled in additional electives. 
He has also been monumental in creating the Shakespeare Club, which offers a great resource and creative outlet to other students. He is a delightful person in and out of the classroom and the epitome of what Cherokee aspires for all of our students. Congratulations. Our final senior award presenter is Mrs. Zachariah. Jacob Witham is my People's Choice recipient. During the four years I have worked with Jake, he has consistently demonstrated integrity, honor, and courage. At our very first meeting, Jake shared his desire to serve our country, and after graduation, he will begin his service as a Marine. Jake. Jake, I am grateful to have you as one of my students. And to Mr. and Mrs. Witham, thank you for raising a noble gentleman. Our first junior award presenter is Mrs. Caputo. My People's Choice Award goes to Janet Randiek. Janet! <laughs> a fan club. From the moment I met Janet, I knew she had a special spark within her. Janet's strength and resilience help her face any challenge that comes her way. She cares deeply about her family and friends and has strong values. Janet balances all of her life responsibilities as she works hard in school and sports and also holds a job outside of school. Janet's determination, insight, and compassion add to our positive school environment, and she deserves to be recognized. Congratulations, Janet. Our next presenter is Mrs. Castor. My People's Choice nominees for 2019 are Christian Costantini and Connor He. Chris and Connor are a joy to have in class. They ask questions to make you think and don't expect easy answers. They both have open minds and have demonstrated accountability and responsibility for their own learning. So I thank you for showing up, for asking questions, for being you. John Keating, played by Robin Williams in the movie Dead Poets Society said, no matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. Chris, Connor, I cannot wait to see what bright ideas you will contribute to make this world a better place. Our next presenter is Mrs. Flynn. People's Choice um, recipient is Melita Duckett. Melita is a wonderful student. She continuously exceeds expectations. She offers wonderful insights in class and cares deeply about doing the best job she can, no matter the task. She is a great role model for other students. A student who constantly exceeds expectations, and I'm not sure she knows what a pleasure she is to have in class, but she truly is. Congratulations. Our next presenter is Ms. Finan. Alexis Ferris is a breath of fresh air. When she enters the room, she brings light, joy, and humor in her wake. She is a talented individual who faces challenges head on. Alexis works hard for her success and is always willing to learn and continue to improve herself. She makes my day better with her positivity and her bright smile. Our next presenter is Ms. Glatz. My People's Choice nominee goes to Michaela Lamarca. I've had the pleasure of coaching Michaela as a cheerleader and teaching her in Algebra 2 this year. 
Her hard work in both athletics and the classroom does not go unnoticed. Michaela shows initiative and brings enthusiasm to each and every situation. Our next presenter is Chief Harvey. Good evening. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Alexander Selnick. Dedicated, respectful, and conscientious. This young man is like the E-Man, the superhero who does everything. As my color guard commander, he is involved with every event throughout the year. He is also extremely active with all our community service initiatives. A natural born leader, yet still a gentle giant. I'm extremely proud to present Ad Alexander Selnick as my 2019 Renaissance People's Choice Award. Our next presenter is Mrs. Herbert. Good evening. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has said, there's no elevator to success. You'll have to take the stairs. My People's Choice nominee, Matthew Barucki, is bounding up the stairs two at a time. I first met Matt in his freshman year study hall. His classes were so challenging, I prayed every day that he would never ask me for help with his schoolwork. <laughs> Matt is one of those kids who lights up a room when he walks in. I once attended a Board of Education meeting and Matt was present. He greeted everyone so enthusiastically and his elementary and middle school teachers were lining up to give him a hug and say hello. I thought to myself, this kid has what it takes to be successful in life. Matt is not only super intelligent, but he's a kind and compassionate kid, always. I know whether he pursues a career in aviation or the WWE, he'll be successful. In closing, I want to paraphrase a quote from our favorite wrestler, Roman Reigns. Matt can, he will believe that. Our next presenter is Mrs. Hillian. I've had the pleasure of having Lorelei Egberts in my classes and on the dancing step team. I've seen her, her grow and mature into a kind, respectful, and positive young lady who I believe will go far in life. This year I've had, I've had, I'm sorry, this year I've enjoyed watching her showcase her many talents as an artist, writer, dancer, choreographer, rapper, and volleyball, volleyball player, sorry. I believe there's no limit to what Lorelai can accomplish because she strives to be successful in all that she does. Congratulations, Lorelai. Our next presenter is Mrs. Kula, reading for Miss Isopi. First, Mrs. Isopi regrets that she couldn't be here this evening. Her People's Choice Award goes to Nicholas Sands. <laughs> Nick is mature beyond his years. I call him the mayor. He truly cares about everyone. He's a mentor in the Cherokee Connection and has helped several students this year. He emailed me during a difficult time asking me if there was anything he can do for me. Nick is a class act. Parents, job well done. All right, now for my People's Choice Award. Uh, my People's Choice Award goes to Madison Taylor. Madison is the epitome of courage, determination, and resiliency. She has suffered from several medical conditions the past several years, but to look at her, you would never know it. She is determined to overcome the pain and move forward with a smile. She never wants special attention or help. For this, in my book, she is a true hero and a role model to others. Our 
Our next presenter is Mrs. Johnson. Bonsoir, good evening. My nominee for People's Choice this year goes to Sam Catrasol, otherwise known as Q. From the moment I first saw my roster for French 3 in September, I knew it would be a truly amusing year, for I had another quatre seuls in my class. Entertainment tonight, move over. Here comes Petit Q, as she's been so lovingly nicknamed. She's entered the house. From the moment she comes flying into class, literally every day late, she also bestows upon us not only her intelligence, but also her amazing sense of laughter, which, if continues, becomes a unique snorting sound. <laughs> With her joie de vivre, before you know it, the entire class of girls, this is all girls, jumps in. I want you to picture this. 16 girls snorting, because they're laughing so loud. All kidding aside, Q is a shining star with an amazing worth ethic, positive attitude, and she always puts a smile on my face and everybody else around her. Felicitacion, Q. Our next presenter is Mrs. Lagrange. Good evening, my People's Choice Award goes to Renee Stolick. <laughs> Renee is simply a delight to have in class. She is conscientious and kind, hardworking and motivated. She is interested in the world both around her and farther reaching. I am honored to have Renee in, this, in class this year. Congratulations, Renee. Our next presenter is Mrs. McGarity. My People's Choice Award goes to Nayara Nunes Estevez. Eager for academic challenges and a genuine lover of learning, Nayara exudes enthusiasm for all disciplines and opportunities to expand her knowledge and insights. She is informed and passionate about culture, history, and current events and issues in politics and public policy. Strength, pride, compassion, and grace are hallmarks of her esteemed character. Whatever calling she pursues, she will use her multilingualism, creativity, and leadership skills to affect positive changes in the world and enrich the lives of all those she meets. Our next presenter is Mrs. McKenna. My 2019 People's Choice recipient is Gary Gilmore. <laughs> Gary is a student worker in the South School store that, and that excels in customer service and is a great coworker. I witness Gary every day doing the little things that really make the big difference. A kind gesture to include others, a helpful hand to a coworker, or a friendly greeting to our customers. Gary was also a regional finalist at DECA and earned a spot to compete in states. If you are looking to hire someone, definitely hire this guy. So. Congratulations, Gary. Our next presenter is Mr. Nash. Hello. I've known Colin Silk for about 10 weeks now, and that's it. Ever since taking over Mrs. Bucci's intro to business class to complete my student teaching, uh, Colin, 
Outside of school, you follow your passion for music and all things hip hop. You produce all of your own beats, you write all of your own lyrics, you have CDs that are out for sale, and you have been able to create a global distribution network for people and other artists to purchase your productions. You have created a business for yourself out of your passion, and as your business teacher, I could not be more proud. Congratulations, Kelly. Our next presenter is Mr. Hovmeyer, reading for Mr. New. Good evening. Mr. New apologizes that he couldn't be here tonight, but I am more than happy to fill in for him. Mr. New's People's Choice Award this year goes to Elizabeth Panay. Liz has come leaps and bounds since entering Cherokee High School. She has taken it upon herself as she has established her leadership role in the No Place for Hate Club. She is always very positive and willing to take on any task that is asked of her. I look forward to working with Liz next year in creating a positive school environment through the No Place for Hate organization. Ladies and gentlemen, Liz Panay. Our next presenter is Mrs. Herbert, reading for Mrs. Strobel. Jasmine McIntosh is a pleasure to have in English class. She is the first to volunteer to read a part in a play, offer her opinion on the text we are reading, and assist with technology. She is also thoughtful, having purchased Expo markers for our classroom as a holiday gift. Jasmine's positive attitude and eagerness to learn and engage with her teachers and classmates is refreshing. Ladies and gentlemen, Jasmine McIntosh. Our next presenter is Mr. Wagner. My People's Choice Award winner is Lorenzo Epifanio. <laughs> Lorenzo has been respectful and helpful in our class since the first day of school. He's eager to help not only myself, but other students in class as well. He is focused on succeeding in and outside of the classroom and holds himself accountable at all times. Lorenzo truly exemplifies what it means to be a chief. Lorenzo. Our first sophomore award presenter is Mrs. Gallimbardo. Gotcha, Samantha Marini. Samantha bounds into the classroom every day with her effervescent personality and contagious enthusiasm for learning. She took on the challenge to move up a level in Spanish this year, and though she initially had misgivings about her decision, she forged ahead, worked hard, and is one of the best in the class. I am very proud of your accomplishments, Samantha. But most of all, I am delighted to experience your zest for life, strong work ethic, and positive attitude each and every day. Felicitaciones. Our next presenter is Mr. Clay, reading for Mr. Glatz. Even though Mr. Glatz couldn't be here, I couldn't agree with him any more for Mark deserving this award. In the words of Mr. Glatz, I've had the pleasure of having Mark Phillips in my honors geometry class and also being his football coach. Mark is a diligent worker who puts his head down and works hard both in and out of the classroom. He helps raise the level of those around him uh, by leading by example. Congratulations, Mark. Our next presenter is Mr. Graziano. Hi, good evening. My 2019 People's Choice Award is Samantha Escher. 
Samantha is a very remarkable student, not just in the classroom, but outside the classroom as well. On several occasions, Sam has gone out of her way to help her peers. She is very kind, caring, and always willing to step up to the plate when needed, even when it's not expected of her. Thank you very much. And Samantha. Our next pre presenter is Miss Gutierrez. My People's Choice recipient is Joseph Napoli. In a world where manners are so often forgotten, Joe Napoli gives me hope for the future. Joe comes to class each day with a bright smile, a zest for learning, and a positive attitude. He asks the kinds of questions that Joe has desired to truly understand rather than to just pass a test. Joe is kind to all, and he even looks around when we work in groups to ensure all students have someone to work with before choosing a partner for himself. He is a model student who brings a passion for knowledge and a joy to Italian class each and every day. Felicitazione Giuseppe. Our next presenter is Mr. Mesoraco. I rely on uh, this particular student to do an unbelievable amount of work backstage, so I figured it'd only be fitting to get him up in front for a little bit. Uh, Dominic Esposito is a student that tends to fly under the radar, but deserves to be recognized for the level of hard work, dedication, and commitment he has displayed over the last two years. As a sophomore, he has taken huge strides as a leader and should be proud of the way his confidence and personality have grown. And the Phil's one by six today, so two things to be happy about, Dom. Our next presenter is Mrs. Rodenheiser. I have two nominees for my sophomore class. So, with the Spanish tradition, ladies first, Marisa Villamayor. Yay! I have had the privilege to, of having Marisa in my class for the past two years. During those two years, this very shy and quiet girl stood out as an organized, dedicated, motivated, enthusiastic, and always engaged student. Watching her work hard and doing her best every day are an inspiration to me. Marisa, I will miss you immensely, and I wish you the best in your junior year and beyond. I am sure that with your strong sense of responsibility and work ethic, you will reach any goal that you set for yourself. Thank you. And now my wonderful gentleman, Terence. T, as I call him, taught me how much we can accomplish each day with dedication, integrity, hard work, and discipline. He has an innate enthusiasm and eagerness to learn. You are an inspiration to me because you remind me that with the right attitude, our possibilities are endless. Thank you for making me smile every day in class and for making me a better teacher and a better person. I will be seeing you at work on Sundays. Our first freshman award presenter is Miss Everly. My 2019 People's Choice nomination goes to Catherine, AKA Cassie, Millaway, for being, for being a perfect example of what it means to be a Cherokee chief. Cassie has proven this time and time again from the moment she entered the halls of Cherokee as a young freshman this past September. Her consistent effort, unwavering motivation, and helpful nature make her both an exemplar student and a congenial classmate. Cassie has been such a pleasure to have in class this year, and I know algebra definitely will not be the same without her next year. I'm truly going to miss her daily um, compliments of my outfits. Like, oh, Mrs. Everly, stop walking, your dress is blinding me. Or, those are some interesting pants. All kidding aside, if I could photocopy her a million times, I would. 
I love having her in class. Our next presenter is Mr. Hovemeyer, reading for Mrs. Hughes. Good evening, I'm back again. Mrs. Hughes regrets not being able to be here tonight, but once again, I'm happy to fill in for her. Mrs. Hughes 2019 People's Choice nominee is Isabel Marshall. Don't we all wish we could have extra hands or eyes? I have them, thanks to Isabel. She has offered her free time in school to help tutor students during her study hall when she is not busy. She is so patient and kind and helpful with the students that need her. Everything a strong and smart woman should be. I am so thankful for Isabel's help, and so are my students. Ladies and gentlemen, Isabel Marshall. Our next presenter is Miss Mayer. Good evening, you're almost there. <laughs> Lily Ingram. Lily comes to class every day equipped with a smile that lights up the room. And she also has the enthusiasm and drive that are the envy of all. She's the on girl throughout our class, asking questions, answering questions, constantly contributing to our shared learning experience. She's every teacher's go-gal, Having her in class is quite simply a joy. Thanks, Lily. Our last presenter of the evening is Mrs. Ormsby. Good evening. This year, my People's Choice Award goes to Paige Yoakum. Do your best when no one's looking. If you do that, then you can be success successful in anything that you put your mind to. This quote embodies the work ethic of Paige Yoakum. As a freshman member of our field hockey program, she was one of the hardest working players on the field. She made sure to give her all in everything that we did, whether she thought the coaches were looking or not. Paige is also one of the most coachable athletes I've ever encountered, and it's the little things that she does that makes her stand out. From her eye contact and body language to the positive manner in which she converses with her teammates, Paige is a role model for our entire program. For her dedication to field hockey and her unwavering work ethic and positivity, I am proud to give Paige my People's Choice Award. Thank you, Mrs. Ormsby. Let's show our appreciation for our 2019 People's Choice Award recipients. purchase a copy of tonight's award ceremony, please visit chieftv.org. I would like to thank, Cher I would like to ask Cherokee Assistant Principal, Mr. Lamplew, to come back for a few final comments. Before we leave, we have one more People's Choice winner, Michael, Cas <laughs> Michael Castellato. <laughs> Sorry we couldn't give you the award with the rest of the seniors, but we needed you to work. <laughs> the Renaissance Advisors would like to recognize you for, your, for emceeing all of our events and always being at the ready for whatever Renaissance needs for all four of the last years. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. would also like to recognize one of our advisors, Mrs. Kulo. See here? Sadly, sadly for us, Mrs. Kulo is retiring at the end of the school year after 32 and a half years of teaching in the district. And 
than 17 years as a Renaissance advisor. Mrs. Kulu, please accept these flowers as a small token of our gratitude for your invaluable service to our students and Cherokee's Renaissance program. Thank you. We would be remiss if we left without a few thank yous. First of all, thank you to seniors Jill Westerby and Michael Castellano for doing such a great job as Masters of Sermon. <laughs> Next, we would like to thank Mr. Haney, who has been taking pictures in the side hall of students and teachers. We would, we would also like to thank Mr. Coyle for doing lighting and sound and all the behind the scenes help. And Ms. Brown for taping tonight's ceremony. And finally, thank you to all the teachers, administrators, librarians, everyone who took time to nominate your student and making tonight so special. All right, students, please stay in your seats for a minute because Mr. Haney's going to take a group picture of everyone. Thank, thank you, everyone, for coming. Good night and drive safely.